Hi everyone, welcome back to Aviation Esport. I know I've been doing a lot of content in French lately. It's time to catch up a little bit and I'll go back to my usual routine, which is to publish in English first and then in French. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my uh, English speaker friends and followers. Um, today, 1v8 Mirage 2000 against F14 Tomcats. Everybody is max fuel, uh, we're 10 miles apart, there are two groups of four and I selected them as aces uh, in the game, so the toughest levels, there you go for the, the setup. I did a couple stuff in French before, uh, if you want to look at the French stuff. Um, the goal today is to show you and describe what I'm doing as I'm doing it to help you learn from my experience and share with you guys how I would do stuff. And because it's 1v8, I have a pretty simple uh, setup right here, right now. So I'm not gonna be, um, I'm gonna be keeping the, the, the red signs on the aircraft uh, just to keep it easier to follow for everyone and to make the visual pickup a bit more easy. What I'm doing is I'm attacking the group initially and I'm gonna be switching views a little bit and my goal is to try to maintain a decent airspeed at all cost. Why? Because if I start losing airspeed with my Mirage 2000, it's gonna put myself in a bad situation. So I'm gonna try to maneuver toward the enemy, maneuver against the enemy, but yet try to uh, manage my airspeed in a decent manner. So turning a little bit with those guys, looks like I can be offensive on him. So yes, I know my airspeed slowed down quite a lot, but I've got some altitude to play with. Really want to be careful not to be attacked in a position like this. So I'm checking my six a little bit, and I'm gonna have to be very precise with my gun. So I'm really have to close in before taking a shot. I want to make sure every bullet counts. Wait, wait, wait. There you go, 100 dead. And a wing. Okay, perfect. Um, put my nose back up, always put your nose back up when you don't know what to do. Put your nose back up, try to see what is going on. So it looks like the enemy isn't really attacking me, which is great for me, stupid on their side. Uh, I really don't know why they did that, but they're in ace mode. And now, so nobody really took advantage of it. So they really, really helped me out on this one, which is really good for me. They really doesn't make any sense what they're doing. Uh, when I did it in French, they were more aggressive. Looks like this one is about to merge with me. Not gonna go with him. I'm gonna continue, do what we go, blow through, and just check if he's gonna turn back, but he's gonna lose a lot of energy. It looks like this one is about to merge with me, picking up a lot of airspeed. I'm gonna go for like some sort of a pre-merge vertical. So you see, I'm gonna do something pretty unusual. I'm merging extremely early with him. I'm not gonna be pulling too much because of my airspeed management. There you go. And oh, look at this guy right here. That's, that's a good target right there. So I'm gonna switch. Switch, switch, bandit switch. Going toward this guy. Very careful with my airspeed. Pull some Gs. Wait, wait. And the wing. I like to break wings, it's very useful. So here I don't have a choice. I have to make sure he overshoots, stay out of his gun sight. So I'm gonna slow down my aircraft a lot. Go in some sort of a roller. There you go, turn, turn, turn around him, turn around him. Now I'm gonna release on the stick a little bit because now I need to pick up airspeed again. So I'm unloading my aircraft, keeping visual. Tally to be precise. I'm gonna put my nose back up and then try to move myself in a six o'clock. So now I have to accelerate again, otherwise I'm just gonna put my nose, but I won't be able to follow. So I'm picking up airspeed. I want at least 300 knots. There you go. Just watch out for the G's a little bit. And looks like I've got a threat coming from my, from my rear. Okay, so my game plan didn't work as well as I thought. I got this guy here, I got this guy here. 
Okay, so the, this guy can't let him go. Too easy of a target. I'm gonna try to finish him. Ah. Okay, let's try. Watch this guy. Okay, lucky me. And let's try to maneuver against this guy right here. And wait, wait, wait. Shoot. There we go. That's a wing. Watch out for this guy. Woo. Yeah, this speed breaks out. Doesn't make sense to me. And we're now in a we're in flats with him. No, he's not playing the game of the flats. Okay, so now I need to regain some energy. I have to go extremely fast because there are a lot of enemies around me right now. So I'm going to put my nose in lead. Try to accelerate. I know he's going for half a loop, so I'm going to try to anticipate. Gain some airspeed, gain some airspeed. Put myself ahead of his trajectory because I want to get closer to shoot his wing. Let's wait, let's wait. He's reversing, that's stupid. Let's wait. I'm gaining on him. Okay, let's wait, wait. Getting closer, releasing speed a bit. Oh, that's very smart on this side, it pushed. You see, so he pushed. It pushed on his wing, so as I was about to shoot. Oh, watch out for that guy. Woo! Okay, lucky me, didn't take a shot. So now I have to, I'm gonna release 12,000 feet. I'm gonna go idle power, speed brakes, turn, 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 power back on, speed brakes in. And now I'm offensive. Releasing the power, accelerate again. Watch out, it's six o'clock. Oof. Okay. Okay, let's try to keep visual and cut his trajectory. And I could be shooting right now, but I'm not. I have to be very, very careful with my, with my number of ammunition. So he's faster than I am. I'm relieving the pressure a little bit. And now I try to get in at six o'clock. Just checking about the other guys. Now I'm gonna get closer and try to get a shot as I close in. Wait, 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 wait. Now. Okay, switching. This guy is a potential target and threat. Unloading a little bit and you see his wings is pretty fast. Getting inside his trajectory, putting my nose up. About to get offensive, check my six. Look at this guy. And let's try to do what I do. So put my nose in front of him. Wait, wait, wait. A lee, release a bit. Too bad. Too far, I'm too far. I'm gonna close in a little bit. This aircraft is extremely powerful, so you see it can be tough. It can be pretty tricky to follow. Okay, that's a nice opportunity if I manage to move myself. There you go. Now I'm switching to this one. He sees that I'm attacking him. He's flaring, going nose high with a lot of speed. I'm going to try to catch him when he slows down. Wait, 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 wait. There we go, bang. Switching toward another enemy now. Still have some decent amount of fuel, still have some bullets left. Honestly, I have no idea how many enemy I've shut down so far. And I'm gonna do what I try to do every single time because it works and you can do it as you fly DCS as well. Anticipate, get closer, move myself in a nice geometry to mitigate the closure speed and play with the altitude. But you see, we're now at 5,000. He's going nose low aggressively, which is smart. I'm gonna have to delay a little bit and get in pursuit. Looks like there are no enemies close from us, so which is good. Maintaining a lot of airspeed, a lot of parachutes around. 
and getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, wait, 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 and shoot. Okay, wings level, nose up, gonna try to gain some airspeed, and hmm, looks like the other guys run away or are dead, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Aviator middle. So, um, wow, I really just killed eight. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, honestly, I lost track. So, uh, let's have a look at the debrief. Um, Iranian one is killed. That's one. Touche, touche, kill. That's two. Kill. That's three. Kill. That's four. Kill. That's five. Kills at six, seven, eight. Haha! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, first attempt in English today. Um, looks like I found a good way to, to make the most out of DCS. Um, quick announcement here uh, we're going to be organizing uh, tournaments in Dogfight. Expect them um, to be either in French or in English, maybe starting 2021. I still have to work a little bit on some sort of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get some sponsors in as well to get you guys some prizes, some, some goodies to win and probably some of the, the stuff to win are going to be dogfight or coaching session with me around, around that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, my book, if you're looking for something for Christmas, there you go. I got my book on Amazon, Debrief. Um, the idea is to adapt aviation proven methods and um, um, I didn't get to 1v8 uh, with 50 bullets left um, by chance. I got it if you look at the French one by um, making mistakes, learning from the soft, learning from how the AI work, debriefing after every single time I had a failure and improving. And I'm going to continue debriefing even when you succeed, you need to debrief. And the big lesson learned from that mission is you really have to if you're trigger happy, remove your finger from the trigger, make sure you're within range because as we saw, when I was too far away, I wasn't getting any shots. Um, if uh, you really close in, you find something that works and you apply it every single time, the same process, you just go through the motion and get them one after the other. Uh, so in the next stuff, coming weeks, what I'm going to try to do is get myself a better gaming setup. Um, try to get some partnerships a, a, around the hardware as well. Uh, try to show you a bit how I work, how I get myself organized and try to teach you guys as much as possible so that you can enjoy yourself in, in situations like that. Uh, next step, I'm going to switch F14 to F15, the Mighty Eagle and expect that me to give it the first shot in English. So you might see me get shot and try again and so on. Um, stay safe. Um, Enjoy yourself and fly safe.